Right now, I want to talk about equity, what it is, how it works, and how a homeowner might utilize the equity they have in a home. My name is Drew Smith. I'm a licensed loan officer at Mortgage Solutions Financial in Colorado. The first thing that we need to do is define equity. So equity is the value of the home minus any liabilities associated with that home. The number one liability is going to be the mortgage, the initial amount that the borrower paid for the home. They, over time, could have also gotten a second mortgage, a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, or they could have purchased something for the home through a third party company, right? Maybe you put on uh, some solar panels or a water treatment system. While you didn't take any money out of the home, maybe you're paying monthly payments to that third party company, but they have then put a lien on your home, meaning that they want to be paid in full if that homeowner should sell the home before that homeowner collects any profits. That company wants to get paid for the services that they provided for that home. Okay, so liabilities, value, once you minus the two, the profits left over is the equity. Now, how does equity build or how does it fluctuate? So there's a couple different ways that this could happen. So over time, the market could dictate the value of the home. So if you live in a desirable state, city, county, area, the market could be higher for those types of homes. So the equity in your home could raise that way, just meaning that people are paying more money for those homes. You could also build equity by paying down your principal on the mortgage. So every month you're making that payment, you're reducing the amount that you owe on the home. So as long as the original purchase price stays the same, the market doesn't fluctuate, as long as people are still paying the same amount of money for homes in your area, your specific home could still be sold for basically the same that you purchased it for, but you are building equity by paying down the principal. The amount that you own on the home is going to be less than what you could sell it for. So hopefully as homeowners, that's what we're hoping for, right? And the best case scenario would be both, right? So the market is going up, people are desiring those homes in your area, you're also paying down your mortgage and you're building a lot of equity in that home. Now, how do you use that equity? You wanna tap into it and maybe put it to use. So the easiest or most obvious way would be to sell the home. You sell the home for more than you bought it for, you pay off all your liabilities and you collect that cash. You could also go to a lender and say, hey, I want to borrow money from my home. I wanna do a cash out refinance. In that case, you would go through the process, they'd send out an appraiser, they'd look at the value of your home They'd say, this is what we think your home's worth. This is how much you could borrow against it. And at that point, you could then take money out, then raising your mortgage, but you could borrow money. Then you would have a lump sum of cash that you can do certain things with it, whether it's take a trip or do some upgrades for the home. It's really up to the homeowner's discretion on what they want to do with that money when they do the cash out refinance. So those are a couple different ways that you can borrow against the equity in your home or use that equity and also what it is right? What is equity? So equity, it's the value of the home minus any liabilities against that home, that profits that would then go to the homeowner. My name is Drew Smith. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and like and follow for more mortgage tips.